So in the last story, we left off. We're bouncing back and forth between the bed, and everybody's having a good old time. Me and the three kids, we're just all taking turns jumping back and forth between the beds. So the youngest one, Carson, I guess he starts getting bored. And I know a lot of you guys out there are basketball fans, and I know a lot of you watch Magic versus the Lakers, and you saw whenever the Magic would foul Kobe or somebody, and they would flop all over the place like they just got hit by a bus. We're bouncing back and forward on the beds, and everybody's having a good old time, but I guess Carson, the youngest of the three, starts getting bored, so what does he do? He decides to throw himself, like, Laker style, into the wall, like, I saw this. His brother saw this. He bounces from one bed to the other one, and doesn't stop. He takes an extra bounce and propels himself into the wall. Now, this wasn't just a normal wall plant, because he didn't try to stop himself. He lunged head first, and guess what he tried to break his momentum with? Yes, his teeth. Threw himself teeth first into the wall. And again, I had to break out my expert ninja babysitter skills. So I see the bottom lip trembling, like he's about to start crying, right? So I'm just like, okay, think super fast. Thank goodness I had my super long socks on, because this, this trick that I'm about to tell you guys would not work with just regular short socks. That's it, you're in violation of code 59799. I grab him as he's getting ready to start crying. I throw him on the bed. I flip him face down onto the bed and I take off one of my long socks and I start handcuffing him. This is the only trick I've found that will work when the kid is about to start crying that you can do to totally just flip it around and make it some big game. It's all psychological. What are you doing, A.T.? Stop. Well, I didn't do anything, A.T. I'm like, yes, you did. I saw what you did. That's it. Listen, we're in a strictly bounce zone, and you did a face plant to that wall. You're in total violation. I'm taking you to jail. You have the right to remain silent. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, I'm reading him his rights now. So his brothers are dying laughing. He starts laughing. So I'm just like, okay, dodged another bullet. Now I'm starting to think maybe this whole elaborate babysitting thing was a scheme to get me fired because I know in the history of Hard Rock they have never let a lifeguard babysit guests. After I just saw what just happened here, I think they're trying to set me up. All right, so I go to uncuff them and I'm like, all right, listen, I'm gonna uncuff you on one condition. No more physical stuff. No more throwing yourself into walls. We're gonna play a nice, cool, calm game of Uno. What I didn't tell you guys is when he threw his face into the wall, I was scared half to death. A lot of stuff flashed through my head when I saw that happen. So we're all sitting in a circle on the bed, and we're all playing a, the slowest paced Uno game there is. As soon as the youngest one looks like he's about to do anything, I'm like, hey, 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 what are you about to do? What are you doing? What are you doing? So he's sitting on the foot of the bed, and we're all in a circle, and we're all playing, and then out of the blue random, this kid is saying, no exaggeration, I'm gonna show you guys what he does, right? We're sitting there with our cards, right? And he's sitting there, right? And he's sitting there, and he does one of these. And throws himself backwards off the bed. Guess what, head first, again, backwards though. So he's on the edge of the bed, here's the bed. This is him, throws himself backwards off the bed. And he even like coils forward before he does it. Now all I'm looking at is the empty spot on the bed where he used to be, and he's gone like, I'm like, this kid is dead. He just snapped his spine. I don't hear a sound. I don't see him. I don't hear anything. I had used all my spare get out of sticky situation cards on the first two. I had never seen anything like that. Like, this kid was suicidal. Where do you come up with that? Like, this kid was literally freestyling at this point. Like, he was just either trying to get me in trouble or just trying to keep things interesting. I don't know what this kid's problem was, but... For whatever reason, he got up unfazed. He wasn't crying. I guess he was trying. I don't know what he was trying to do. So basically, what I take it upon myself to do is grab this kid like bear hug style, sit down on the chair in the corner with him on my lap. And I'm just like this now, okay? I'm not letting this kid out of my grasp. And his other two brothers, they're free to do whatever they want to do. Like those guys have been angels the entire night. So I'm sitting there with this kid in my lap, and guess what happens next? I do the one thing you should never do as a babysitter. I fall asleep, yes, some of you guys, I, hear, I heard you guys, I heard some of you guys say that, I fell asleep. One minute I'm sitting there with the kid, like this, and the next minute the dad is poking me. 
And I wake up, I'm like, hmm. And I literally, when I woke up, one, I didn't even know I fell asleep. So when I woke up, I had no idea where I was at. So the dad's poking me. He's like, AT, AT, AT. And I wake up like, yes, yes. And, you know, I'm not, once I realize what's going on, I try to act like, you know, everything's cool. You know, I just fell asleep. I don't, you know, I have no idea what time it is, how long I was out. The kid was still on my lap, so that looked good. So I'm laying the little kid down like he's my own now. I'm like, yes. All right, there you go. Kiss him on the forehead. Yes, there you go. If I look quickly at the two other kids, and they're both sound asleep. So I, I stand up. I'm like, yes, yes. I'm like, ah, um, um, how, how, was, how was the club? And the dad's like, oh, yeah, yeah, man. It was awesome, dude. Look, look at these guys. Look at them. They're like, look at them. They're never, they're never asleep this early. And look, dude, what, how did you do this? How, you're a magic man. You're magical. How did you do this? Oh my God. Look at, look at the littlest one. He's sleeping. He's sleeping in your lap. That... So he walks me to the door and the mom's like, oh my gosh, every time we come back here, we're going to request you to do this. Oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, to I'm totally down. I'm so down for next time. Uh, and I get to the door, he opens the door, reaches into his pocket, flips out like 50s, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, here. And I don't count it, I just take the wad of 50s, and I'm just like, oh, you guys are awesome. Door closes, I walk and I start counting the money, 400 bucks. And then I start thinking like, okay, well I hope they don't start inspecting this kid's head. They'll probably start seeing all these welts and bruises all over the back of his neck and on his scalp. AT was beating our kids with baseball bats. When the family goes to leave the next day, I'm working. They come outside and they're like, AT, thanks so much. You were awesome. We are definitely going to tell Mark. We're going to write a letter to Mark and let him know you were so awesome and this and this and this. They left. Everything's cool. I'm on top of the slide and I'm sitting there thinking to myself like, I made two weeks worth of pay tax-free in one night. That's crazy. This is crazy. I work out my entire shift and it's nighttime now and I'm on top of the slide, we're about to close. And these two older women come up and they walk over to my side and they're like, well, hello, AT. And I've never seen these ladies before, but you know, when you're playing with everybody's kids, your name gets circulated. So I'm like, well, hello, ladies. And they're like, what are you doing up here all by yourself? And I'm like, chilling. Getting off of work here in a second. Like, so, you know, you want to hang out with us tonight? I'm like, you and your kids? They're like, no, no. Our kids are at home. Well, what do you mean your kids are at home? This is the part where you ask me to babysit your kids, ladies. Oh, so your kids are not here. You girls are alone. It's just us two. In the same room, seventh floor, club level. What time do you get off? Um, in like 10 minutes, they look at each other and they look back at me. You want to come up? And I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, um, that's the end of the story. I didn't go up to the room, by the way. Come on, guys, come on now.